UK unemployment stands at 4% according to official data released today. While the number of people out of work has risen, there's one industry which says it's struggling to find the qualified workers it needs. A group of engineering and manufacturing firms in the Midlands say the skills gap is so acute they've taken the task of attracting future employees into their own hands. Emma Thomas reports from a careers event at the University of Warwick. Three, two, one. Miniature aircraft undergoing test launches. These flying devices were designed and built this morning by teams of high school students. These teenagers are hoped to be the engineers of the future to solve an industry skills gap. According to the Institute for Engineering and Technology, the shortfall of STEM sector workers equates to an average of 10 unfilled posts for every business in the UK. And that is costing the UK economy £1.5 billion each year. The event is funded and managed by the Manufacturing Assembly Network, comprised of small and medium enterprises. We're facing existential problems in a way at the moment. How do we feed ourselves? How do we generate energy? How do we move around? Uh, and it's important that we uh, encourage bright young people to get involved in engineering and science and come up with new solutions. So do these students fancy a career in engineering? For this generation, engineering is something that is good to go into. There are so many degree apprenticeship opportunities uh, for after sixth form and college that involve engineering. Engineering is uh, about thinking, so we have to think creatively. It gives like an idea of like how to actually live in the real world and like how it actually is. It looks very interesting. A lot of people are quite creative and I think engineering gives you the chance to express that. Creative and competitive too. Students' skills were pitched against their teachers in a final flight race. Seeing how they can put ideas into in, in theory rather than they've been doing in the classroom into practical aspects and it gives them a real world um, feel for engineering subjects and, and see what kind of careers are out there as well. There are 74,000 vacancies in manufacturing in the UK. These young people have A-levels and degrees or apprenticeships to complete first, but they could be the future of the industry. Emma Thomas, BBC Middles Today, University of Warwick. <laughs> it's like they had fun. And it was educational. All right, good to have you with us here on Middles Today.